How do all y'all Vegabytes, Spiver, Smithies, FPM viewers, and YouTube viewers alike? This is Redneck Coast FPM, and I'm here with my brother from Water M4TH. And we're back here in Imperion Galactic Survival. Uh, today, uh, we're going to go to this, uh, I don't know how you say it, this moon here. Because it's got Pentaxid, and we're going, or Promethium, we're going to need Promethium. But, uh, M4TH... Uh, we're probably going to be doing something opposite of what I'm going to be doing because I'm going to be scouting the planet. He's going to be going and look for, I guess, a place to set up a forward base. I have no idea. But I'm going to shut my ramble and let M4TH say hello to his Vegemites. Good day, Vegemites. M4TH is right here with FPM back for some more Imperial Galactic Survival. <laughs> Yeah, today, I'm going to be looking for some Antaxid, was it, or Promethium? Promethium, yeah. Actually, Promethium on this moon? Yep, the whatever, that weird name. Direct research. Survey in progress. Well, we're going out into space now, so I'm going to have to... And we're kind of currently not friendly with most of the stuff out here. So, uh, I might, uh, want to go ahead and <coughs> put that on waypoint. Uh, if I can find it here. Let's see. I got too many markers. I seriously do. Okay, there we are. 5 AU. So I need to get to the other side of the planet. Because if I try to do anything else, I'm going to wind up going back into the atmosphere we just left. All right, slightly rolling. Ready? Warping in three, yep. two, one. All right, we got a few hostels here. According to what I'm seeing. But uh, we got four red icons here, plus a station of some sort. You know what we got around here is mainly pirates, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is once we get down on here, I'm going to hop onto those new that new hover bike just to take a look around while you take the SV here. And find a spot to uh, put an FOB on. How about that? That work? Okay. Yep. Yep. Trying to get us there as quick as possible. Ooh, we're going to hit mountaintop. Oop. <laughs> just right through but then <laughs> once yep. we're in alright I'm gonna find a spot right over here whoa a little bit of latency there to kinda touch down we got a resource right here too oh <laughs> speak of the devil we got Promethium right here. So, that's a that's a good indicator right there. But I'm hopping out. I'm going to mine up some Promethium. That 
and let you go do your thing while I wind up this promethium here. Let's see. Okay, so I guess there's only two pieces in this thing. I'm not seeing a Prometheum icon anymore right here. All right, well, let's, uh, this is the new hover bike. You know, get it to work and you got to hover up. I believe I see you out there. <coughs> I'm going to head west. Uh, it does pretty good. Whoa. Just don't go too high. Or else you get spun completely around. Let's see. West is this way. Oh. Just one of them little assassin bugs. So we got them bugs here on uh, this planet too. Whoa! Yeah, it's like the southern hole, but there's like a flat, really, literally flat thing, or oh, it's a lava lake. Yeah. Or some, some kind of water. I think it's. No, I think this is actually this is that water one. I don't know. I was thinking lava. Well, it's I'm in biofilm here. I'm in a biofilm, whatever that is. Yeah. Okay, so we got uh, Xerix here. Yeah. I'll <laughs> take gosh. All right, where were yeah, they fighting? Because they're at? like zero. Yeah, zero. Survey in progress. So I was like, you know, they're surveying the planet. I assume potential to, you know, establish a base. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, they were taking on an alien. The alien took out the Xerix laser. Actually, it was two aliens that they took on. I only got 64 pentaxid off of that ore node. All right. Head west again. That was just kind of neat to see him fighting, you know? No. No e area. Whoa. First time riding these, everybody, There's so pardon the motion sickness. <laughs> Just find a spot, man. It don't matter where it's at. If you feel like, you know, it's suitable for a base, then uh, put it down. And he's going to be building one from scratch. This ain't a pre-built that he's putting down. It's going to be one of his own designs. So if you want to see what he's putting down, everybody, a link will be in the description below for a link to his channel so that you can see what it is and see what he's up to. I don't know how big this planet is. Oh. Getting <laughs> fired on by Xerox upon landing. Ah, well, you got guns. Take him out. 
Wow. Okay. These things are a little so far odd. I was heading west, now I'm heading south. <laughs> Yeah, they don't go up hills that great. Oh, good lord. I'm <laughs> flying, but... I fired uh, upon him. You fired upon him? Yeah. All right. Attacking these it, ones. We just... Think it. Yeah. Xerox Empire are allied with the Traders Guild. It seems. They're allied with the Traders Guild? Okay, so... Because I'm... <sighs> that means we gotta... Take on some more pirates. But, here's the thing. We're in a pirate sector. So... <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm going on foot. <laughs> Riding that thing just is now to me more of a headache than it's worth. Especially on a plant like this. Because you get flipped up, you get flipped around, you get tossed, turned ways that you don't really want to go. I'm in heavy snow with mountains right now. I figure eventually I might find yeah, where you're sand. at. But, uh, yeah, at the sand, sand drift. Ah. That's towards. Yes, yeah, it's this one sort of like flat plain. Let me see where you're at. Okay, I'm almost at the timeline. Yeah, I'm pretty much almost right in line with you. Oh, this is gonna hoit. But I'm doing it anyway. I was jetpack riding it down this mountain. Tapping my jetpack as I go down. Looks like there's supposed to be water here somewhere, but with it being a yeah. lava type yeah, environment. Water. Oh, there's actually water here? Huh. Yeah, that it might looks be like worthwhile. lava, but it's. Yeah, it's water. Yeah. It might be worthwhile then to put some uh, water. Uh, generators down but how much of that base you got going and remember you're gonna have to do the faction thing you always complain to me about it yeah I'm gonna be in New York minute before I get there because <laughs> I'm on foot I get that hover bike just uh. Cause I've got a better hover bike. In fact, hang on. One that I've made. Let's see where is it? All I'm missing is carbon substrate. And you know how I'm gonna make that? Let's see how much I'm needing here. Yeah, I'm almost already there. Well, hang on, copper. Take gum it. I thought I was going to be able to make it. Eh, got stones along the way. That's 32. 
carbon ore. That'll help out with carbon substrate. Got some iron here too. And that's copper. Silicon. Figured I'd mine up some resources while I'm right here. Because there seems to be plenty of them around. You know? Oh, yeah. okay. Timeline. So I couldn't get those other stones there. So I was trying to get stones on the timeline. They didn't want to work with me. Alright. Getting to the top of this mountain here. Alright. Come on. Thank you. Uh, 10, that's 14. I know I'm going to need more than that. A little bit more carbon substrate. And I needed 82 copper. I got 14. You know what? Yeah. Not bad. The hover bike did uh, plenty of carbon substrate. You know what? I could probably. Okay. Getting closer to having the ramrod back in action. Been a while since we had it out and about, you know? Yeah. yeah. And this is the perfect type of planet to have it on, as far as I'm concerned. Anytime I see stone, I'm going for it. <laughs> Including Pentaxid. Really, only gave me 10 there. So I'm needing... Mm, 40, no, 50 something more copper. You know what? I'll just dig through this mountain. I do, however, need to find out what this resource is over this way. Yeah, I'm not too far from it. Just kind of dig over that way. Should the get enough <laughs> base uh, box uh, on this uh, uh, lighting. Do what now? I mean, the uh, <laughs> the blocks of loading though, which is annoying me. Okay. Well, just try to figure out a way to fix it. Don't let it bug you too much, man. Alright. Just like, you know, I'm getting impatient with trying to get the ramrod back up and running. But 
it takes some time sometimes. Just take it slow and easy. Uh. Don't let it rise you. Almost there. Just ten more. Uh, it broke the base block. Oh. Uh, do you got a constructor? Handy? Aye. Oh. Build a, yeah. you can build another one. Really, just four? Well, that's probably what I need anyway. Nope, need two more. Dad, come it. Takes 15 crushed stone to make, you know, X amount of ingots. Well, I only needed half of that anyway, so. Start production. Ramrod spawn. Pop that in. Take the Prometheum I got. And. Get some fuel, and I will be meeting up with you shortly. All right, let me see where you're at. I am there, and you're not that much further. Gonna hit this resource over here. All right, I'm getting up here on top of this ridge here. Okay, I see you over there. Look at it. I thought I had a light on this thing. Evidently, I don't. I'm only 1.7 something from you. Whoop. I'm flying. I think the ramrod is good. It actually maintains a lot better than these hover bikes. <laughs> And you don't got to worry about a jarring motion. Well, you picked a pretty good area. Quite a few resources. Yeah, it's Whoa. Way, it's gonna, yeah I'm not going to have a base complete <laughs> even figured out. Uh, you'll figure one Still out. Collecting Here, I got some resources on me. Yeah. Because I haven't really seen nothing much Here. has happened in this episode. Well, you're trying. That's all that matters. Alright. Here, let me help you out. Yeah. I'm Change still, my point of view. I'm still far away from even completing a... Hey, you'll figure block. it out. You know what you're going to go for. What all are you needing? Like copper, iron, what you needing? These are some odd crushed or odd stones over here. There's like a group of them over here.
getting us a pretty good amount of them. Like 29 per hit. Oh, it was supposed to be like uh, these cobalt ores are landing. Is what it's supposed to represent. Okay, that's a nifty thing. What are you? One crush zone, okay. Alright. Come back down this way. I set down my constructor, but you got one on the uh, SV there. Here, let me set this to faction. Alright, cobalt, iron, stone, other, some steaks. Got two cooked steaks. One if you need it. Right over here. So. But, uh. You got two constructors. I'll put mine over there next to yours just in case you need to double up. On production of stuff, you know? Steak and everything else is going to be in it that you may or may not need. And I'm going to go check out some more of the planet. I've noticed there's been really no faction base on this planet so far. Yeah. As it, yeah, as it says, uh, there's just the Xerox surveying for resources. I thought it was like a bit, a bit of, yeah, there's such, well, I suppose that would be in the part of it with its resource. Like yeah. Plan. Eventual plan is to claim the planet. Yeah. Well, we're pretty much claiming it now. <laughs> you know? I'm going south a little bit. Quite a few resources down this way. See what I can find. See if I can find any more Promethium. Because I don't think there was only one node. You know what I mean? If there was, whoop. <laughs> Rip. Estrium. Of course, I have no rounds for the Ramrod. But the ramrod is not necessarily for getting into fights. Getting in there, getting some intel, getting out. Yep, there was another Xerix. I just passed right by him, him and his dogs, and he didn't even know I was there. <laughs> that was funny. More silicon. But got a lot of resources close by here. Right where I'm at. Like right next to each other. Really? 300 something and it just said nope. Okay, there's Xerix. There's copper deposit. Evidently, I'm moving so fast they don't even know that I exist. That's funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, of course, I am traveling 49 out of 50 MS. So... As much as I can remember the past times with yeah, you, those like dinosaurs and that, like as you go past, you'll hear the like 
the sound. Yep. Oh, somebody took a shot at me. Somebody finally realized I was there. <laughs> We're surveying for the UHC. Oh, there's another Prometheum. Very small. Or small. I say very small. All right. Uh, so there's a resource back that way. Oh, found a colonial excavation site. Hmm. So, basically, we can't attack the Xerix. Unless we just don't want to become friendly with the free colonists again. Or Traders Guild or whatever whoever they're associated with. But I'm in route to a couple there's something level two over here. And that's kinda concerning. That there's already a level two something over here. Uh I hit the time zone and now I gotta Low right, there we go. Alright, hopefully it ain't something that's going to shoot at me. Settlement. Well, they ain't shooting at me yet, so... But anyways, everybody... Uh, I don't know if M4TH wants to go over on this episode, but we're already over on our end. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end it here, everybody. Thank y'all for coming to visit for a spell. Sitting in the rocking with us. Throwing some lines in the water with Bob Bob. And drinking some shine with us. Hope you'll come back for another episode. And... Also, visit for a spell log. So y'all come back now, you hear? Later.